Hi, this is Larry from That's What's Cooking. With the cooler weathers uh, on us right now, I was thinking of some traditional food that happens during this time of the year, and chicken pot pie came to mind. And I've always loved chicken pot pie, and I'm thinking, why can't I do that on the grill? But, of course, it's not going to be baked with a crust and anything like that, so we're going to call this chicken pot pie almost. I'm going to go ahead and um, cook up some chicken spices, maybe some garlic and some onions, and we'll bring out um, the traditional uh, vegetables that go along with the chicken pot pie, uh, some potatoes, um, carrot, and uh, some peas, and we're going to stir them up here and put a little sizzle on them, and then we're going to end up topping it off with a nice uh, garlic um, herb uh, glaze, and we'll take it inside. Uh, I know we're going to be making also some uh, fresh biscuits. I think that'll kind of be like the crust uh, that we're looking for in the chicken pot pie and finish it off with some um, chicken flavored uh, rice um, as a side item for it. So that's what's cooking. We're going to go ahead and start off with the chicken first. Um, I did get some chicken breast. It was on sale. Good thing because I think that's the traditional chicken that's used in the chicken pot pie. So we're just going to go ahead and put it on the grill. I already have the olive oil down on there, and I got it. I got it on on low. I always cook everything on low, so let's go ahead and spread it out a little bit. Basically, just going to be browning it. I am going to add some onions, some onions to it, a little flavoring. White onions, love the white onions that we use. Okay, and one thing I'm gonna try that's new, that I was thinking about some garlic on there, and I bought this, it's, it's a freeze-dried garlic, and it says it revives as soon as you put it on the grill, so we're gonna go ahead and, and try some of this freeze-dried garlic. I'm always looking to try something new, um, get a little edge, so we'll go ahead with a little bit of garlic, on there. I think that'll be good. I'm just gonna, and once again, well, I'll tell you what, I was gonna put on some garlic salt. Since I already have garlic, let's just go ahead with the traditional salt. And we'll do some pepper also. Okay, I'm basically, we'll just move it around, we'll give it a nice cook on it. I'll probably go ahead and maybe put them underneath the dome so we can make sure that our chicken's cooked. That's one thing you always want to do is make sure the chicken's cooked. And we'll go ahead and come back. I'll probably go ahead and maybe put a few more spices on it. Well, we've had them underneath the domes for a few minutes, which is good because of all the heat that's retained and it makes everything cook a little quicker, but um, more intense, more intense. So we're gonna go ahead and check it out. I did add some spices earlier, but we're gonna go ahead and check it out and maybe toss everything around. And I'll tell you what. Okay, looks good, we're getting a nice, a nice brown cooking on there. Toss it up a little bit. Yep, that looks, looks like it's coming along pretty good. Shouldn't take much more. That's the one thing with, with breasts. It cooks different than thighs. I mean, it still has to cook, but the look is different. And usually when your breasts are cooked, they're white. It gets a nice white color, but of course these look a little brown because we did get a nice sear on them, but we'll go ahead and toss them up a little bit. We add a few more seasonings. We might try a couple of pieces and I think it should be good. We're going to go ahead and do the vegetables now. We've got the traditional, we've got some potatoes, we've got some carrots, and we got some peas. Um, I went ahead first a little bit and we, we boiled them a little bit first um, 
maybe about 10 minutes or so, just to go ahead and when we come out here, um, it'll be a little bit quicker and we can make sure that, that uh, everything is cooked thoroughly. So I've cleaned my grill. I have a nice uh, fresh coat of olive oil down. So we're probably gonna cook the potatoes and the uh, um, carrots first. Those will take a little bit longer. The peas, they, they're gonna be a little sensitive. So we'll bring them in at the end. But right now, just go ahead and put down. Put down our carrots also. Now these carrots, they were sliced, I bought them like that. Uh, I don't know, that, that, it's just easier for me. We're just gonna go ahead and toss everything around a little bit. Once again, just get a nice sizzle on them and we'll add some spices. Probably go ahead and do that right now. I didn't add any onions to these because we had plenty of onions that uh, were with the chicken when we cooked it. So we'll go ahead and put some garlic salt on it this time. Garlic salt. Sometimes, I don't know, some people say put too many spices on things. I like things to be tasting really good and I know garlic salt always brings out a good flavor and everything and we'll go ahead and put some pepper also we'll probably once again put them underneath the domes that way we know everything's going to cook but for right now we're just going to go ahead and get a nice sizzle on everything we're just going to toss it around spread it out a little bit so it sits on top of the that's warmed up and get it a nice a nice sizzle on everything so we'll go ahead and let it sizzle up a little bit and then we'll we'll be back and see how everything looks I've got everything underneath the, the domes here we're gonna go ahead and put some water get a steam effect on there they're cooking pretty good I like the way that they look. We'll go ahead and let them steam up a little bit. And we'll probably come back and we'll put some more spices on them and we'll, we'll go ahead and test a few and see if they're pretty close to being done. Then at that point, we'll go ahead and add in some of the peas and um, mix everything together. Let's go ahead and take the domes off of them sitting under there for a few minutes and oh yeah those are coming along really nice really nice I'm gonna go ahead and add in a few more spices on them maybe let them sit again for a little bit we're gonna go ahead and add in the peas along with this last time that we're that we're gonna go ahead and put them underneath the dome so I'm going to go ahead and spread spread out our carrots and our potatoes right now. And we'll add in some peas, which is part of the traditional, part of our traditional chicken pot pie. I almost lost my train of thought there for a second. I'm trying to think. So we'll go ahead and add in some peas. We'll go ahead and get everything a nice mix. Everything's come along real good there. Looks good. Looks really good. We'll go ahead and try some and we'll let everything sit underneath the dome. We've got the peas in there. We'll probably go ahead and put them underneath the domes just so the peas go ahead and get a nice steam effect also. We did boil them some, but I like everything to uh, get a little bit of steam out here, a little bit of sizzle. So Watch the peas, they're rolling around everywhere, but we're gonna go ahead and put the domes on them and uh, give them a little bit of water, let them steam up a little bit. And I think the should, vegetables should almost be ready. We'll go ahead and add the chicken. Okay, I think the vegetables are pretty good. Let's go ahead and take off the domes. And we're gonna toss them around a little bit. Gotta watch those peas, those things, those things are rolling everywhere, but that's okay. Once we get everything mixed on here, They'll fit right in. Okay, spread out our vegetables. 
We're gonna go ahead and throw in the meat. Okay. There's our chicken that we had. Let's go ahead and put it on. I like making sure the onions always seem to stick. So we'll go ahead and put them on. Make sure everything comes out. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and give everything a really nice good mix. And then we'll come back with the sauce and that'll be the final glaze for our chicken pot pie almost. Okay, we got, we got a real good cook on our vegetables. We knew our chicken was already done. And this is gonna be the final, the final touch for our chicken pot pie almost. I was looking for a glaze, something to put on. And of course, I'm always looking for something different. But what I did find at the grocery store, it's a garlic and herb by Knorr. Yeah, uh, we used a couple packages that called for some butter and for some milk also made a really nice glaze. We're gonna go ahead and put it on, do a, a nice toss up with it, and that will be our chicken pot. It smells delicious. We warmed it up, thickened it up. Now we're just gonna go ahead and give everything a nice toss with it. One thing about it, after after you give everything a nice toss and you go ahead and store it up, the heat, if you cover it, the, the heat will cause everything to cook even more and just make all the flavors come together really good. This smells fantastic. With garlic and herb flavor, should have filled a nice coat on here. It'll thicken up. Once it's all put together, we're just gonna toss it and then we're gonna store it and I think I think it'll be good. Well this is everything we put together for the chicken pot pie almost. We went ahead with our breasted chicken that we browned up really nice. We got some potatoes, carrots, peas, and we put a nice garlic herb a season on there. We went ahead and did up some biscuits. This is pretty much gonna be the, the crust part of the chicken pot pie. And we did up some gravy, some chicken gravy, um, to finish up the glaze at the end. Um, I think we got some rice on the stove, so we're gonna go ahead and put up a plate and we'll show you finished product. Well, here we have the finished product for my version of the chicken pot pie, almost. Uh, we went ahead and cut open um, a biscuit, uh, open face. We laid down the, the chicken and the potatoes, the carrots with the um, herb and garlic um, glaze on it. But we also did go ahead and put on some chicken gravy, which makes it look beautiful. We got some rice and we're ready to eat. I think everyone's pretty excited about it. And um, well, of course, this one is for my dad. So I hope he likes it. Thank you.